Welcome back to my channel, it's Taisha. So for today's video, as you guys can see, we are testing out a bunch of new drugstore makeup. I haven't done this video in a while. And girl, spring releases, it's just calling my name, affordable makeup. You guys know we're baddies on a budget. So yeah, a lot of products are under $5, like a lot of the complexion products. So if you guys wanna see what's good, what's not, and get ready with me all in one video, then keep on okay so i'm gonna clip my hair out of the way because i know it can be really annoying um but, but i'm excited you guys i'm using a brand new eyeshadow palette from milani it's called the gilded flora palette and this just gets me so excited for spring in my head it's officially spring like i'm ready for the heat i just love spring and summer so this is the palette right here and i personally really like this milani palettes i feel like they're definitely worth the money they are a little bit more than morphe but i feel like like, you know you're gonna actually use this you know what i mean sometimes morphe palettes are too big and i personally like smaller palettes um i also do have a new eyeshadow primer that i picked up from profusion i got all these things at walmart by the way this is called the pigment base eyeshadow primer kind of reminds me of that pillowy space but this was four dollars you guys know milani or not milani profusion has really affordable products so i picked them up in the shade neutral and also in the shade white i'm gonna see which one i use and then this is what they look like swatch so here it's the neutral shade and then here's the white shade yeah i think i'm just gonna use the neutral shade i'm excited for all this new drugstore makeup i swear drugstore makeup is just like that girl you know so i'm just applying a little bit at a time and then i'm just gonna blend it with my real techniques concealer brush this is also one of my new favorite brushes it's called the expert concealer brush and it's really good honestly this blended out really good i feel like it's gonna become a product that i'm gonna use every time i do like bright eyeshadow or work with you know colorful eyeshadows this is gonna be really really good so let me apply lip balm because i feel weird i need to moisturize my lips and my skin I cannot do my makeup without lip balm so i'm using this new lip oil they kind of gave me like dior vibes you know it's called the fruit fetish passion fruit coconut lip oil they have a lot of different flavors um i have the red one the red one does give you like a tint so if you're not into that then i would just recommend you go with something um like this like this color kind of gives you a tint but not too red you know what i mean uh hopefully they release like a clear one because these are really really good they're moisturizing they smell great and the applicator it's like a little spoon see and then while i'm moisturizing you know my lips let me moisturize my skin i'm using the elf skin holy hydration hydro gel moisturizer you guys know i really like this one it's perfect you can have oily skin it's not too greasy it does what it's supposed to do so i'm just gonna apply this and then go up right here well, let's do our eyeshadow together like i said i'm using this new eyeshadow palette um it does come with the mirror and then the eyeshadows i think i'm just gonna do something simple because i haven't done you know eyeshadow in a while i'm always doing like the brown the soft glams so i want to do like a soft glam but make it a little colorful you know so i'm just gonna be taking let's see a fluffy brush let me make sure they're clean i haven't cleaned my brushes do not judge me okay you guys spring break is next week so maybe i'll clean them then um, but i'm using the tapered blending brush and i'm just gonna go in with the shade what's up buttercup if you are darker than me i would suggest you use a like white base i kind of regret not using one because you do need to pack this eyeshadow you know since they're lighter shades so i would recommend to start with like a white base just so you get the most pigment you know it's the first impressions we are testing things out this is called my pretty peony yeah i think that's how you say it it's this like really pretty pink shade um you guys know me i i got a youtube video recommendation on how to pronounce things like i'm like god are you trying to tell me something i don't even know why i never watch any video like that and i just got it in my recommendations it looks like words you're saying wrong and i'm all like this is a sign so now that my eyes look like this uh, i told you guys it's a really simple makeup look which i love and it's gonna be soft glam so then i'm gonna go in with lavender fields you know i love lavender that's one of my favorite scents ever i need to go to like a um, lavender farm it's like a dream of mine i just love lavender so i'm just gonna apply this right here on the outer parts so 
now just to blend everything out i'm gonna take a clean brush this one i got from marshall's um it's from cara beauty so let me make sure it's clean and i'm just gonna blend everything like together just so i don't have any harsh lines so far you guys this eyeshadow palette is performing really good you do need to work with them a little bit so you do need to pack them blend them you know stuff like that but you know it's a really really pretty eyeshadow palette and i think it's gonna be really fun for spring you know when you don't want to spend a lot of money you still want some fun pop of color i recommend you know you get this palette okay so i'm gonna take a little small brush this one is from the makeup by ariel collection if you guys haven't tried these brushes if you still don't have them girl this is your sign to go get them i'm telling you i always tell you these brushes are really really good so i'm just gonna take the shade take a root which is this like brown shade i do think you are kind of like missing a little bit of darker shades just to like elevate the look so that's like the only thing i do have to say i wish there were like more deeper shades but that's just me I don't know so i'm just gonna take a little brush like this and i'm just gonna use this right here just to give me a little something i just like that dimension in my eye you know so you guys see it just adds like a little something like it doesn't take away from the look i just feel like it adds to the look you know i just like that smoky liner look and then i am gonna be using my tres luce um eyeliner in the shade eterno this is a new brand at ulta I love the Lusa, you guys. Their eyeshadow palette's really good. I forgot to mention it in my current like favorites or my month, my yearly favorites. But the Lusa is such an amazing brand. It is Latina owned um, by Becky G. So you guys need this, okay? It's really, really good. I also recommend the eyeshadow palette, and they're now available at Ulta, which is amazing. This is also what I use to like darken up my beauty marks. It's a must, okay? You guys see how it just adds like a little something. So I'm just gonna use the new Milani mascara. This is in. Let me see this is called the anti-gravity mascara in the shade intense black so you guys already know i have like four lashes i have seven now i have seven now before i think i started with like three then i went to like four and now i have seven lashes so you know they're growing so i will what this does i don't know if it's gonna give me you know a volume extreme look this is the brushes that i personally like i like like drier mascaras i feel like they work better so okay this is actually very good it's doing something for my lashes okay so if you're looking for a mascara that actually works like you guys see how it like lifted my lashes this is something that works really good um surprise first impressions i like it i think it's gonna look really good for my bottom lashes as well i am gonna apply fake lashes like always i'm into that lifestyle so i'm gonna use my tati lashes in the style tl3 they're my favorite ones i they're like the only lashes i've been wearing so yeah you guys can use taisha i believe it's taisha 15 or just taisha at checkout i will have like the discount code in the description box below so you guys can save yourself some money and yeah thank you guys for supporting me i do make commission if you guys do use that code these are the tati lashes you guys see how pretty they are well, now that the lashes are on i really like the way it looks with lashes i just feel like everything's coming together so i'm gonna be taking the maybelline perfector four in one whipped matte makeup it kind of reminds me of, like the whip you know the little thing that they had before so let's see yeah i think this is gonna be really really light for me or actually maybe not let's see just feel like that mousse consistency Kind of like accumulating at the same time yeah i think i should not put that primer in let me remove this really quickly make sure my skin is dry and now i'm gonna put it again so oh yeah 10 times better do not apply like any primer this is supposed to be like a bb cream i feel like this is good for your like no makeup makeup days and it does feel really mattifying and it kind of did blur out my pores so if you were to buy this product i will recommend it you don't apply like anything on your skin and if you have dry skin stay away from this like this is gonna emphasize a lot of like dry texture so this is the shade light medium and i feel like it does match me pretty good i do have some redness here on my nose and this is like how much it covers so it's not supposed to give you coverage or anything like that but it does kind of like mattify your skin 
give you like a really nice base to work with but if you have any some like product like the moisturizer or something you guys see how it's like just like accumulating i would never wear this like by itself i would just wear it as a primer i think as a primer would be really good because it did blur out my skin so i'm just gonna move on to apply foundation definitely not gonna use a matte foundation because i just know it's not gonna look good so i'm just gonna be mixing the catrice true skin hydrating foundation i got this in the shade neutral toffee I was going to mix it with the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation in the shade Neutral Suede. So yeah, let's see how this one looks by itself first. I used this foundation like once before and I think I liked it. And then I also do have a new beauty sponge to test out. So I got this one from Profusion. They're called the Blending Squad. It has your concealer, your powder, and then your cream and liquids. And this set, I believe, was like $7 or under $5. I'll have everything linked below. This is the mini concealer brush or sponge. This is the powder one, which is like a really cool shape. And then this is the cream one. I'm just gonna be using the powder one only because it has like the rounder side Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to mix it in with the hydrating one as well I think the shade that I bought is the reason why I don't use this foundation Is it's too like neutral tone and I like warmer foundations You guys see how it gives me like that really nice dewy finish I actually do like this Maybelline primer as a primer not like the, like a BB cream or anything like that I feel like it does give me a really nice like soft matte finish and then on top of like hydrating foundations it just work you know so i really like the sponge everything so far i really like and you know i'm excited because it's all affordable makeup so let me apply a little bit of concealer underneath my eye i'm taking my morphe filter effect radiance concealer in the shade light eight this one's really good. I feel like not a lot of people are talking about it. The original concealer Morphe hat, I did not like. This one's actually, you know, very good. It blends out really nicely. It gives you like a really pretty satin finish, you know? I also do like to use a little bit of the shade medium 14, just right here to kind of like warm up my skin. Yeah, I feel like together they create like the perfect shade. I don't like something too bright and nothing like too similar to my skin tone. So while I wait for my concealer, just to get a little bit tacky, I am going to go in with my Persona Cosmetics bronzer um, in the shade Dune. If you guys haven't tried Persona Cosmetics, I don't know what you're doing. You have to try them out. Their blushes are like the best. And I really like their products. I feel like they're very like simple products that you will actually use on your everyday makeup routine. And this cream bronzer is really good too. So instead of going like that, I like to use my Milani, or not my Milani, my Real Techniques brush. I'm just using the other sponge in this set. And I like this one because it's really pointy. I actually like this um, sponge set. I do recommend it. It's like really, really spongy, you know? Before I forget, I do have some cream blushes. You guys know I always forget to cream blush. But when you do it, it looks really good. So I have this ones from Profusion. They were less than $5. Really affordable. They're called the Soft Matte Liquid Blush. They had me a soft matte. Anything that says soft matte, I have to try. So this one's kind of give me like rare beauty vibes, but a lot more affordable. So I'm excited to see how they blend into like my skin. I don't know if I should apply it. No, I'm just gonna apply it now and then we can apply it in top of foundation. So yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. It's really, really cute. Look like this. And I did pick up a lot of colors. I have it in the shade Rose. I think I found some really pretty colors for summer. So this one in the shade Bellany, it's the one in the middle. And then this one is the shade Maytay. Like this just screams summer to me. And then we have Rose. So yeah, this is what they look like. For brush, I'm gonna be taking this one called Insta Chic Brush. And let me apply a little bit more in the back of my hand. They do take a while to dry, okay? So, it's gonna go like this. And let's see. Okay, you can't really see this color that much on me. If you have my skin tone, um, you do need to apply a little bit more. But it gives you like a really nice, like, 
you know, like summer glow to your skin. I feel like the other colors are more pigmented, but I'm just gonna stick to the pink ones. But yeah, I recommend the other colors as well. These are really nice. They have a really nice soft matte finish and it didn't remove any foundation, which is always a plus. I don't have a new drugstore powder. If you guys know of any drugstore like new powder, let me know. But I feel like the powder department, the higher end has been winning, you know? So I'm just gonna be using my Huda Beauty powder in the shade banana bread and i'm just gonna set my skin using that same little sponge set the rest of my skin i'm gonna be taking my ColourPop medium 11 um, press face powder this is part of the pretty fresh collection so i'm just gonna be taking little powder sponge and just set the rest of my skin this is my second time using this ColourPop powder and I do like it. It's very like fine and it gives you like a really nice color, you know? So if you guys are looking for a new powder foundation, that's just gonna add like a little something. It's pretty much just to like beautify the skin, you know, just to make it really poreless, then I would recommend this powder. I'm using the LA Girl Matte Bronzer in the shade Back to the Beach looks like this back to the streets so i'm gonna be taking uh, my new real techniques brush this is the matte powder in precise baking so you get two sides oh my god i always pull on this but no you're supposed to like twist it yeah you see you're supposed is this working did i do something wrong you can open it like this and then press it down and then it has like the contour side so let's see hopefully this is warm because I feel like I look very like neutral tone right now. The only thing I don't like about this bronzer is that it only has two shades. Like this is the lightest shade and then they have a darker shade. But I just wish they would have released more, you know? I don't really like the bronzer. I feel like it kind of like messed up my look. You see how it makes me look like gray here on the sides? Yeah, I don't like that. This is why I don't really like like gray tone bronzers. This could have been really good if they would have done a warmer shade. So this I don't like. So I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. Hopefully it will fix like the gray effect on my skin. I'm taking this one from Physicians Formula. It's new. It's called the Butter Believe It. This is what it looks like. I thought it was going to be matte, but it does have like some sparkles to it. And this is in the shade Pink Sands, by the way. Okay, so I'm just going to use that right here. See how it looks like blended. Yeah, it gives you like a really nice, like baby pink, like barely there blush. You need a lot of this if you want it to show up on your skin. You see, it gives you like a really nice flush. Oh, you guys see how it looks like gray? Hopefully it doesn't look too bad on camera. Okay, so my camera's dying, so really quickly, I'm just gonna take my liner again. And you guys see, I like using this color just to darken up my beauty marks. And then let me just finish up the eyes. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of this darker brown, combining it with this, just for the lower lash line. Take this color right here in the palette. It's called Busy B. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of setting spray. Yeah, you see, it just adds like a little something without like not overdoing it. Okay, and then just to be extra, I'm going to take a little bit of my Tres Luce Intenso Liner in the shade Tranquila. And I'm going to be adding this like right here just to like open up my eye. I don't like doing it all the way like in. I feel like the inner part, it's fine, you know? You don't have to like do the whole eye. I'm just going to be taking the lip liner I always use. This is Milani Saucy Toffee. It's one of my favorite ones. It's just like, it's bomb, okay? So I'm just going to line my lips. And for liquid lipstick, I'm going to use the shade Less Cuddle by Dose of Colors. And then for lip gloss, I saw this one's at Walmart. They're the new Mega Slicks Lip Gloss by Wet n Wild. And this is in the shade... Girl, the, like, the writing on this is so little. It's called Pink Champagne. I'm just going to add this right here. Just so it goes with the eyes.
remember the little brush that I showed you guys? I'm gonna take this powder right here from Milani. This you all need. I mean, not by Milani, by Wet n Wild. It's called the Bare Focus. It's so good, you guys. I love it. It reminds me so much of the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I'm just gonna add this to like the areas I want to lighten up a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna set my skin with the Milani Make It Last Floral Scented Spray. So let's see. And you know what? It's going to smell like a perfume. I don't know which perfume, but it smells really good. So here's the final look right here. You guys, I really love the way my makeup came out. The one thing I do not like, like at all, it's the LA Girl Bronzer. I love the packaging, like it's really, really pretty. But the undertone is just like too like gray tone for me. So it kind of makes me look like, you know, like grayish right here. So this I wouldn't recommend you buy if you have like similar skin tone to me or even darker because they don't carry a lot of shades. So I would just recommend you stick to the Juvia's Place if you're looking for like that warm, you know, beachy, type of look. I have like a love-hate relationship with this Maybelline primer. I like it, but I wouldn't use it alone, you know? I would definitely use this the way I did today. So make sure you don't moisturize your skin, you know, make sure it's like no product because then it will peel. And then use this, apply foundation, and you guys would like it. Um, if you have oily skin and texture. If you have dry skin, girl, stay away from that. So Milani is coming through with the bomb product. I love Milani. Highly recommend you guys pick up the lip oil. And if you want something like fun for spring, I recommend this palette. It's really, really pretty. I also really like the cream blushes from Profusion. And girl, since you're at Walmart, make sure you pick up the cream blushes, the sponge set, and also the eyeshadow primer. You will not regret it. Everything's affordable and they just perform really nicely. Um, but yeah, I feel like we found like a rare beauty dupe for a lot less money. But basically, I really enjoyed the rest of the products, but you know, I have my favorites, you know? So yeah, girl, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will have everything linked below so we can be twinning. Let me know if you guys are gonna be, well, I can't talk. Let me know if you guys are gonna be picking anything up. And yeah, guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. I will see you guys next.